Hey, it's Elaf, and today I'm going to show you how to create some product photos with AI at home with some jewelry pieces. So earrings, necklace, and a bracelet. And I'm going to show you how to prompt the AI to get the product photos in the way that you want them so you could use them for marketing. We're testing out a new model on Casper, which allows you to upload your input image. And instead of just changing the background, the AI will learn what the product looks like and then place it on the model or the position that you want it in. This ideally should make it easier for you because you can upload any input image of a product and it will interpret it, understand it, and give you an output based on what it sees fit and how it understands your prompt. Make sure to stick to the end if you want to see how all the before and after photos turned out. And I'm also at the end going to show you a creative way of editing in your product if the AI slightly edits it or enhances it and you want to make sure that your product is represented exactly how it should be. So. You could just kind of crop it in in a way and I'll show you how to do that right at the end. We'd love to have any feedback on this new model and how you find using it in comparison to the previous one. I made another tutorial on how to use it before. And also, if you like them both and you would want them both alongside each other, then we could do that as well. If you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate any support. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And now I'm going to share my screen and show you how it works. Here I'm on the platform and I'm going to start by selecting this gold necklace. I can either upload a photo or use one that's in my assets folder. I've already removed the background here, so I'm going to click on the green generate product photos button and it will send the photo to the third tab called AI product photos and editing. Here I can write my prompts. Now typing in the prompt in the prompt box, here I want a close up of a South Asian woman in a clean white studio showing this gold necklace in full, soft lighting focused on the neckline. Then I'll click the green generate button. It takes a second to load and then a photo is generated. Regenerate if you don't like it or want some variety. I'm also going to generate it with a different model with a different ethnicity. So I'll edit the prompt to a South American woman and then click generate. I'm going to save this one because I'm happy with it. And this is how they look together. Next, I'll show you how to create these two product photos with this simple silver necklace. Back onto the platform, I've dragged the input photo from my folder, uploaded it onto the background remover tab. And once the background's removed, I'm gonna click the send to studio editor button in order to crop this rose that wasn't removed from the background remover. The studio editor is a second tab and here I can adjust the position or crop the photo and resize it. And once I'm happy, I'll click the green generate product photos button to send it to the third AI editor tab. Similar to before, I'll write the prompt that I want, in this case, East Asian female model in an elegant pose under dramatic lighting, close up on the simple necklace against a dark backdrop. Then I'll click generate. Looking at the photo that I just generated, once I'm happy, I'll click this download button, which is the arrow on the top right. I'm going to generate again to see what another one would look like with the same prompt. This is how it turned out. And if I download it, I'll show you what they look like side by side. Moving on to the simple silver bracelet, I'll show you how I created these photos from this input image. On the background room of this tab, I'll select the silver bracelet, then send it to the AI editor tab. I'll write a prompt like before, in this case, 25 year old mixed race female model wearing a white blouse, angle shot of wrist resting on knee, showing bracelet with greenery in the background on a sunny day. I like how this photo turned out, so I'm gonna download it and click to generate a couple more for variety. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a slightly different model that we're testing, so the AI will learn what the product looks like and reposition it in the photo. And this is how the two photos look side by side. Next, I'll create a photo of this model wearing this simple pearl bracelet. I'll drag and drop it from my folder to the background remover like before and then send it to the second studio editor tab in order to crop out the flower, similar to last time. Then I'm going to click the green generate product photos button when I'm happy. Onto my prompt, I'm going to say 55 year old Thai female model, soft smile, bright white room, cropped arm shot, resting on top of a white table with this bracelet catching soft light. White backdrop, high end look, white roses in the background, and then I'll click generate. This is a more detailed prompt, but sometimes the more detailed, the more accurate. I quite like how this first photo turned out, but the product is slightly impacted, so I'm going to regenerate. Once happy, I'm going to save the image, then generate again for variety. I also like how this one turned out, so I'm going to save it, and this is what they look like side by side. On to the final category that I'll show you, which is earrings. I'll show you how to get them on these models. Uploading the product photo from my folder to the background remover tab, then sending it straight to the third AI editor tab. Here I'm going to write my prompt, for example, on a 23-year-old black woman, light makeup, soft smile, curly hair in a modern white bedroom. Then click generate. The first one slightly altered the product, so I want to generate again. And I like how this one turned out. Finally, I'll show you how I got this image of these beautiful diamond earrings on this model. Dragging and dropping the image to the background remover, then sending it to the AI editor like before. Here I'm going to write my prompt, freckled redhead model with freckles in a cozy sunlit room. Close up on earrings with soft window light and warm earthy tones, then click generate.
This is the photo that's created, but the product was slightly edited, so I'm going to click generate again. I actually really like the initial photo that was created, and I realized that the angle is good enough for me to place the background removed earrings on top of this current photo. So I'm going to go on the image history, click that photo, send it to the studio editor, and then on the studio editor, I'm going to fit the image to the page, go to the background remover, send the product image with the transparent background. Here I could crop it so I can just take one of the earrings and place them on top of the AI generated stud. This actually turned out really well. It's a bit of a hack to get to the image that I actually wanted with the right product. So I'm going to save it and download it to my computer. So that's the tutorial. You could definitely keep playing around with it to create more styles or different human models or whatever it is you'd like to see. But I hope that gives you an idea on how to use the AI to create product photos and how to use the Casper platform in general. Let me know if there's any other product photos that you would like to see and I'm happy to create them next time.